Hey there, welcome to Digital Design Tips. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to set up a, a bleed and what it is. So I'm going to, uh, quickly, I made a new document. I'm going to change this to inches here. You come down to bleed, um, note this might be collapsed like that. So open that up. we got a quarter inch margin. I have an eighth inch bleed. Uh, you can you know, just click like that. And it'll, if you have this lock on here, it'll uh, links. It'll link uh, top and bottom and outside and inside. And this is the slug. I'll describe that in a second too, but I do have it on at also as an eighth of an inch. Uh, so let's see what we did here. Let's go up and look at the corner. This area outside of the page is the bleed. Now, if you're going to print uh, something like a postcard or brochure or whatever, they're going to print larger than your actual final page size, and then they're going to trim it right here. So you want the, the ink to flow over a little bit so you get a nice edge and it's all it's covered all with all the way with ink otherwise you have a white edge or, or you know you could have a white edge if they don't cut it a hundred percent perfectly which they won't I don't even think that's possible so um, to demonstrate this a little better I'm going to make a black page so you can see what I'm doing here and there's that. So again, they're going to cut this guy right here, and uh, the bleed would just you know, be tossed, but that's uh, going to give you black all the way to the edge. Say if you have, we're setting up a you know, yellow footer down here on, on your page and whatever it is that you're working on. Let's probably make that yellow real quick, and you also want that to go. See that? So this is going to look perfect when it's uh, printed and then trimmed along this and then they'll also they may give you guidelines to say hey let's uh have a safe area or a live area and that's why i set this as a quarter inch so anything in here is definitely not going to get messed with at all it will not get cut or anything more than likely i mean i push things really close to the edge a lot of times but um no, this is where it's going to get cut and then they're going to you know you suggest keep it away from the edge because you don't want anything important there to get cut. If you're going to put a page number on here, don't put them right here. You know, put it up here, for instance. And um, let me see here. I'll go ahead and export this so you can see the uh, what I'm talking about here. Let's go test in the test folder. And let's go to marks and bleeds. So all, all printers marks. Um, and you want to use the document bleed settings that we set up. Um, crop marks, bleed marks. I'm going to take that off because crop marks is going to show you basically where it's going to get cropped. The bleed marks aren't going to hurt anything, but it's going to make it confusing because it's going to show you two sets of, of crop marks, and we don't need that. And we'll leave the rest of it there. And we're going to put the slug on there as well. I can show you that. So, uh, wait, let me see here. Let's view it after exporting. Okay. So we're going to make this PDF, and there is our PDF. Now let's go down here. See that? This is the bleed. It's going to get cut right there at that line. And it's going to get cut here. This is the slug. So this is, uh, you know, it could be important for the printer. It could have a page number there. It could have whatever. These are registration marks. See, there is a the file name, but that's all uh, non-printed items. It's just uh, you know, useful. So that's the slug. This is the bleed and the crop marks, and it's going to cut right there. It's going to cut right there. See that? Oh, there's color bars. That's also part of the slug, but not important uh, because we're going to cut right there. So that is a bleed and a slug and even the margin uh, explained. Hopefully that helps you, and um, tune in for more stuff.